Thank you for tuning in to the children's ministry section of our Easter Sunday service. My name is Joelle and I get to host um, this children's lesson also for children at heart. So thank you for tuning in. Even if you are not surrounded by children, it is a joy to have you. And hello to each and every child listening to this. It is such a pleasure to have you tune in. And now I have a sneak peek into what we're going to be talking about this morning. You get to watch a hyperlapse video of something that will give you the clue to what our lesson is. So that should have been a very easy clue and probably to be expected because a tomb on Easter Sunday, we're pretty used to that. I did divide our story up into three different sections, the gap, the sacrifice, and the closeness. So the tomb comes in to one of these parts. So beginning with the gap, the gap is what I have coined as the distance from God. It is how far we are away from him because of our sin. And most of you know that our sin started all the way back in Genesis. And I will tell you a scripture from the book of Genesis in chapter 3, where Eve was with Adam and they were tempted by a serpent. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was delicious to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took its fruit and ate and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. That was because Satan tempted them and they gave into that temptation and they had sin in their lives as a result. From that point on, there's a huge gap between us and God, all because of what Adam and Eve did. We can't blame them because we have temptation in our lives and we fall victim to sin all the time as well. Which brings us to the need for the sacrifice. God sent his son, who was perfect and with no sin. It's amazing because Jesus came to the earth as a man and he did not sin at all. He lived a perfect life and it was God's plan for him to die on the cross for our sins. God had the plan all along to close the gap, which is why the sacrifice had to happen. And I want you guys to think about the words in John chapter 19. There's a verse that says, it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And when we hear that, we might think, like everyone else did in Bible times, it is finished, that means it's done, and Jesus is dead, and it was over. But that's not how it happened. Jesus rose from the dead, and that's why the tomb is such an important symbol for Easter weekend, and that's why you saw the video of us drawing. The tomb is where Jesus was, but he did not stay there. And we love to say on Easter weekend, he is risen, and then everyone else says, he is risen indeed. So let's try that together. A little call out exercise, because Jesus didn't stay dead, and that is so exciting. So I'll say, he is risen, and you say, he is risen indeed, okay? He is risen. Very good. Let's do it one more time, just in case everyone wasn't paying attention. He is risen. Great job, thank you everyone. So the sacrifice was the ultimate sacrifice, death. And that is what brings us to number three, which is the closeness to God. We have a closeness and a relationship because Jesus died on the cross. And it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Jesus is the only one who can close the gap. And God knew that, that's why he sent his son to die for us. This is a pretty tricky story to understand. It can be confusing and when we're talking about sin and disobedience and death as a consequence. It's really overwhelming. But I want you guys to really understand God's heart in it. That he is pursuing us always and made a plan for us from the beginning of time. 
Derek and his daughter Clara are going to explain with an object lesson how Jesus came and takes away of all of our sins. And hopefully that helps clarify any questions that you have. Hi, Bay Park. My name is Derek, and I'm one of the Sunday school teachers in the grade 3-4 class. And I'm Clara. I'm in grade 4 and one of the students in your class. It's Easter, and we're celebrating that Jesus conquered death and is alive. And because Jesus died and rose again, we can have a good relationship with God. But why didn't Jesus have to die in the first place? That's a great question, Clara, and something we all ask at some point. To help answer that, let's use a quick demonstration to visualize it. Great. Jesus came to take the punishment of our sin, the sin that we've done and the sins that we're still going to do. That's what Jesus came to do. Here's you. You look good, clean, pure, just the way God intended. The problem is, you were born with sin in you. A long time ago, Adam and Eve brought sin into the world, and now we're all born with sin. Can you pour some sin into Clara? The sin changes us from what God intended, and because of sin, we do things that we shouldn't do. Can you think of any things that we shouldn't do? Maybe it's bad attitudes, or yelling at my parents, or lying to a friend, or cheating on a test, or hurting someone. That's right. Whatever it might be, it's not the way God wanted us to be. But God has a rescue plan, and that is Jesus. Jesus was perfect. He came to earth and lived a perfect life and was without sin. So the question is, Clara, what would happen if Jesus took the sin of the whole world and put it in himself? What would happen if he took our sin to the cross and died for it? Can you pour all of the sin into Jesus? All the way in. Keep going. Perfect. And what happened? It disappeared. <laughs> That's right. And that's uh, what Jesus did. He took sin to the grave and he left it there. He left that sin in the grave and he came back with a new life for all of us. And he was still perfect. He was still pure, still blameless. Everything that we need. Sin had been defeated by Jesus through his resurrection. And so when you confess your sins and ask God to forgive you, he fills you with his spirit. Can you pour some Jesus into Clara? Perfect. And what happened? It disappeared again. <laughs> Jesus changes everything. He washed your sins away. You couldn't have done this on your own. You couldn't have removed the sin yourself. Only Jesus could do that because he died and conquered sin for all of us. And that's why Jesus had to die? And that's why Jesus had to die. He rose from death, conquered sin, and because of this, we can have a relationship with God. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. We hope it helps you understand why we need Jesus. Wow, thank you guys so much for doing that for us. To have the visual of Jesus clearing our sin and all the red in our cup and taking all the sin of the whole world upon his shoulders is so helpful. And I hope that you guys can really enjoy Easter Sunday with your families and realize that God loves you and he has pursued you from the start. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Miss you and have a great day.